Now, shortly after Thursday's plane crash in Ukraine, several mainstream media outlets latched onto the message coming from Washington and Kiev, unleashing a storm of accusation against anti-government forces and against Moscow. For more on the war of words, let's now bring in Lodi Van Oost, a journalist who used to be a senior advisor to the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. Thanks for joining us this hour. Now, before any investigation had even begun, some had already pinned the blame on Russia. Has any evidence actually been presented? Well, uh, we should uh, make very clear, first of all, that uh, a human tra uh, tragedy after a catastrophe like this that the relatives and the victims deserve a thorough investigation by independent uh, sources. Where, uh, when you say evidence, this is something that is produced by experts on the ground. I mean, look at, there are programs on, on air crashes uh, on National Geographic and others. It takes weeks and months before you can to jump to any conclusion. So whatever is being said now is just speculation for political motives. Then why do you believe both media and politicians were so quick to jump to conclusions this early? Well, because uh, I think uh, most of them, I mean, on, on the Western media, but by the way, who also blame uh, Russia today, uh, in the, between brackets here. But I think uh, they, 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 they consider this too good an opportunity to once again uh, uh, play the blame game on Russia and on the insurgents in the east of Ukraine. I mean, and it's too good an opportunity to miss. Whether, whether how this will turn out in the long term, that remains to be seen. But I can tell you, this is a very volatile situation. Uh, our wars have started like this, uh, because just doing things like this, speculating and putting the blame before there's any whatsoever evidence uh, to, 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 to come to any conclusion. How confident can we be that the investigation into the crash will be objective when it gets around to it and not politicized? Well, I can only say that if, uh, uh, if there is an uh, objective investigation, it should, of course, include the Dutch and the Malaysian authorities and probably also the Boeing company being an American company. But it's, it's obvious that the American authorities and the Russian authorities can uh, should be, but only as witnesses to the investigation. They can certainly not be part of the investigation in an event like this. And I appreciate I'm, I'm asking you a lot here with the next question, but if it turns out that the plane was indeed shot down, what would the implications be for whoever will be found responsible? Well, of course, uh, like I said, there is no, no element that can already uh, give us the opportunity to jump to conclusions. So I'm not going to speculate on what will happen. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it looks like, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious that this plane was uh, shot, not, not just had an, an, an accident, but was shut down, probably, most probably. But uh, who is to blame? Well, look, there are precedents. What happened with similar events? 1983, uh, Soviet Union downed an American airline. What happened afterwards? The United States Navy downed an Iranian airline, if I'm not mistaken, in 1988. Look what happened with the perpetrators then. My guess is similar things will happen. I mean, uh, it's too bad, but I'm afraid that the real culprits will never be, uh, never be punished. I hope it is not. It's different this time, but it's too early to say. Lode Van Oost, former senior advisor to the OSC, we thank you for your time this hour.